What's up, guys? Mark back here for episode 16. I really don't know how to do 16. Anywho, with our journeyman career mode here at Luton Town. As you see, it is only May 5th, but the good news is... Duh. View season review! There it is! Yay! Luton Town FC end of season review for the 2022 season. The new arrivals! Who did they denounce as signing of the season? Nobody, because we really didn't sign many people. They were really happy with Harvey Blair. They were happy with Kelly. They were happy with Ennis. They were happy with Green, even though I wasn't. Jill Powell, they were okay with. Watt, they were... Like, Martins started to turn it up at the end of the season, and it makes me happy going into next season. Ilya Babich, A-. minus, Yes. Basically, it's a healthy... It Yeah, the 12 million release clause is healthy profit. Todd Kane was brought in before me. Ukawakwe was brought in before me. Diallo was just eh. Transfers out. Jack Grimmer. They didn't like him. They didn't like him going. I Luke Bolton was eh. Odolare was eh. Kiosa was eh. Basically, a lot of these people I didn't do. They're pretty much happy with the loans we did. Basically, we finished 18th out of, obviously, 24 teams. The players are still currently going on or else. I'd show you the final people. Avoided relegation battle. We finished 18th. We had a 92% home attendance with James Collins being our top goal scorer. We made it to the fourth round of the FA Cup. That's all I could be happy with. Apparently, they only made it to the second round. They wanted the third. Oh, damn. Biggest win was against Huddersfield Town. That was a... I guess... Yeah, I wasn't there for that. Sky Bet Chip. Yeah, we came in January, I think. Match to remember. This we were here for. <laughs> it was a beautiful game. Goal of the season was actually Elliot Watt against Burnley in the FA Cup. So let's watch these goals. And then this is goal of the season, by the way. I don't know if I would call that a goal of the season. It's good, but we've had better goals over the last season. So basically, has not changed. No new sponsorships. Oh, sponsorships about the same. Broadcast is actually went down a little bit. Corporate and hospitality went down a little bit. Competition prize money. We got 188k, which I can't really complain about. Match day commercial and retail. Yay. Morel, Lockyer, Collins, Ennis, and Mpazus uh, sold out of the 5,078. As you can tell, we lined up in the like 4-2 or 4-4-2 diamond wide. Accolades! We didn't get a head coach in a month or anything like that, unfortunate. Club awards. Fans player of the season was Tom Lockyer. I could justify that. Young player of the season, Joe Powell. Goal of the season, Elliot Watt. I don't get that one. Top goal scorer was James Collins. Most assists, Joe Powell. Most player of the match, Liam Kelly with four. Highest average rating, Tom Lockyer. Most passes completed per 90 minutes, Elliot Watt with 32. Oldest goal scorer, James Collins. Youngest goal scorer, Renato Martins. Fastest goal, 28 seconds. That's longer than me. Overall goals by a player in a season, James Collins for 15. Woo, we did it. All right. Uh, is there anything new they want? No. All right, I'll just accept it. Basically, they just want to avoid a relegation battle again. And then they want a top half finish. Yeah. Yeah, avoid a relegation battle. Top half finish! Winner! <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Um, all right, so... Plans for next season. Okay, um... We can avoid it, fight against relegation, stay up comfortably. Everybody thinks they're happy. Hell yeah, I'm not going to do any promises or anything like that. And I'll see you in preseason. New season team report, cool. 
injury season or injury thing cool mid-season break and that's that so i'll do the transfers and stuff like that i'll show you who comes up from the championship to the premier league all that fun stuff so keep on so keep on yeah keep on watching all right, so we've made it up to May 9th. I know this may be a long episode, but I don't care. The board had placed an embargo, an embargo on pun transfers as a result of the rumors regarding a possible takeover. And, con and the consortium, hello, targets Luton Town takeover. Luton Town will name Steven Gerrard as their new head coach. What? We could be out of a job because of this? What the hell, boys? Let's let's start looking for a job. Okay, so we've made it up to the 2nd of June. The transfer window starts seven days, and we get this email. Luton Town president demands to end takeover saga. President David Wilkinson told the club's potential new owners to speed up their takeover of the club and ensure that I can operate in the upcoming window. He believes the club would be hurt by the lack by a lack of activity in the transfer market and his threatened to pull the club pull the plug on a takeover if an agreement cannot be reached very soon also they're hoping i stay because i um got a i put an offer in at valencia i've also put in job offer at cologne leverkusen ludo garrett's just why not they'll be in europe and arsenal because if i'm getting taken over and i'm losing my job i might as well have a backup right so we'll see how this goes. All right, June 6th, we've continued takeover talks. Reports are coming in that there's a breakthrough. Yay! And the head of the takeover bid, Phil Rogerson, or Rogerson, whatever you want to pronounce it as, are going well and there could be an announcement in the next couple days. Yay! Start date, June 16th, 2023. Luton Town takeover hits rocks. Consortium is close to pulling out of a potential takeover after failing to agree to a price. Stardate log this as update number 479 of our takeover. We will keep you posted. Stardate June 20, June 19th. I messed that up. 2023. Reports are coming in that there's a breakthrough in the takeover talks. According to going well and there could be an announcement in the next few days, we will keep you posted. Update from the 19th, star, star date, June 20th. The takeovers hit rocks again. What the fuck? Can we just get this over with, please? And exactly one day over of the takeover hitting rocks, one day over... They're going well. My heart can't handle this emotion. Let me make some transfers, goddammit! Stardate, June 23rd. PSG in offer for Zolo. Yes, that Zolo. He is wanted by Paris Saint-Germain, Juventus, and Shakhtar. He's worth 2.4 million. He is absolutely fucking amazing. 8-21 for Cherno Moretz this year. Playing as the... I'm assuming advance forward at that point. I wish I could tell you exactly. But um, yeah, Lucas, on the other hand, 8 and 30. Not too bad. Trina Moretz is literally exactly where you think they would be, just literally middle of the table. Also, no news from the uh, takeover front. Let's get this settled. Star date, June 26th. Consortium complete takeover finally revealed the consortium had big plans and there would be changes sooner rather than later could be replaced by steven gerard so yay uh, i want to thank you for your patience what is undoubtedly a stressful time for anyone involved with the club some 7.75 million has been pumped into the club's coffers and a new transfer budget has been calculated oh goody it was my intention to appoint a new head coach following the, following the takeover and the decision on your future will be taken shortly. Oh, goody, we're probably going to be out of a job. <sighs> Gary Sweet, Bob Curson, 
David Blakeman and Paul Ballentire have left the club. Their replacements on the new board will be Addie Hartman, Jonathan Whitmore, and Terry Vincent. Lovely. They still want the same thing of avoiding a relegation battle. Fourth round and third round, I'm completely fine with that. Basically, they just want to maintain a top half finish. I'm completely fine with this. Uh, are you excited? Um, I really have no opinion because I could be out of a job soon. Start date, July 9th. Personal benefits following take our activity. Following the recent events at the boardroom level, you will be allowed to stay on as head coach. I've been impressed by the support for your management at the club and persuaded you to allow to, allow to remain in charge. And they've lifted the transfer embargo. Bad news is, we have to make some things work. Wow, this is not going to be fun. So basically, we're working with about $2 million in the uh, transfer budget. Lovely. Basically, the transfers we've done so far... Really nothing. We've sold Liam Kelly because he asked to, because Fulham came in. I'm like, okay, you've been a great guy. Uh, obviously, knit, basically, just a lot of frees and loans and stuff like that. Basically, the free players we got in, like normal, from last year. We got the Prelate guy in, who looks halfway decent. I'm going to see what I can do. All right, and now we've hit the beginning of the season. Oh my god, that was fun as fuck to try and do with two million in the budget, but we have got people. As you see, our first game is against the recently relegated Newcastle United, managed by Gennaro Gattuso, of all people. Go a figure. Jakan Bosch, Abukaba, Longstaff, John Joe, Butland, all that fun stuff. So, the official transfer business, we're, we're trying to get this Lukic, Lucic kid in, because I'll show you it later. Also, Thierry Ambers, I saw was free, so I'm like, yeah, why not? Um, so, transfer history. I showed you earlier the Prelich deal. We made some decent deals. Uh, we've sold Regan Thompson for 450, uh, rising up to 550. I figured he wasn't going to become much if he's not already at our level at this point. We've sent said Sadu Diallo on loan to borrow, basically, um, down in League One, so yay. Um, Aaron Pierre, we sold to Amiens for 375k. I didn't see him being in my plans. And... Michael Heaney is on loan at Luton Town. But the ends. One goalie, Andrew Fisher for 225. Yes, 225k for from MK Dons. I He's a really good goal. He's a really good goalie. He's technically a good League One goalie, but he could do the trick. He could do the job here. We bought him from Lut from we are Luton Town. We bought him for 225k. He had a 6.98 rating last year for Milton, uh, for MK Dons, who finished. Where did they finish? They got promoted. They got promoted to the championship. Oh, lovely. Um, up next for 110k, I believe in compensation. This kid Jacob Tonks, and yes, partially because of the name is why I signed him. 18 years old, valued at 61k, but yeah, it was pretty much just 120 in uh, compensation. I love that he's 18 and already has a gray beard. For Doncaster Rovers, for the senior team, when he was 17, obviously, four goals in 25 games, that's not too bad, and he's got really good potential as well. Up at least three and a half, possibly up to four and a half stars. And the goalie... Sammy Tlemcani, 19 years old, for free, mind you, from Chelsea, pretty much. Chelsea bought him from uh, Paris FC. We got him for free, and he's actually a really, really good goalie. We only have him, we only have his playing time as a, uh, as a cup goalie, because that's all he wanted, apparently. So I'm like, okay, I'll take that in a heartbeat. Um, I can't think of anything else that's uh, been done. TQ Addy, 
released. Unfortunately, we lost Joshua Swan for free, Callum Nicholson for free, and Elliot Lee. I I let go because I didn't see him making it with us, so he's gone to Wigan. Congratulations. Uh, we haven't done anything there. Loan deals are just loan deals and all that fun stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then our first game is against Newcastle. Let's go, boys. But I'm trying out this five, technically five, two, one, two. We're, we're going to have Clemani at goal. Pearson O'Neill, who looks like he's progressing extremely nicely. He's up to a squad player, but could improve in the future. Blah, 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 blah. And Lockyer. Seddon and Bree are the wingbacks. And Pazu and Morel. And Pazu has the... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to move him to the deep line. Deep line on the fend. Morel as the bots of bots. Joe Powell as the attacking playmaker. Niall Ennis is going to get a start. Is going to get the start up top. James Collins is going to be playing the pressing forward role. On the bench, we're going to have Fisher, Gavin Kelly, John Pino, the other... Uh, good uh center back option we have zamboric the guy we signed for free could use pretty much anywhere and he's actually really really good um yeah he's pretty much a winger but he can play pretty much anywhere and he's a good player for the championships or decent player for the championship side so can't complain luke barry i'm still trying to get rid of at 31 years old he's got to go immediately so I, I've tried getting him out. May not wait, react well to being offered out. I don't care. I don't want you here. Sonny Bradley is still injured, by the way, for three to four months. Yeah, that's a big loss. That's why I'm trying to get in that Lucic kid. Um, I'm trying to think. Nobody else like major. I mean, Tariq Ukawakwe, he was... I really don't see him performing well for us so i'm trying to get him out of here um andre green i'm trying to get out jorge grant could be a he's technically a regular starter but yeah um that's fun but yeah i think that's it and i'll see you for first kick all right kick off at kenilworth road boys let's go let's see how we do in this new formation i've been telling him to train it and we've already got a shot on that or shot yay um Oh god. Frazier up to... Yeah, I don't really think we're going to win this, I'll be honest with you. I just wanted to get the first game of the season in this episode, so... Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Let's uh, encourage the boys a little, see if they... See if we can get anything going. Our XG is not .01, which is lovely. I'm gonna take out that, add that... Try that, see how we can do. Uh, I'll take out expressive because we don't need to be that expressive just yet. Um, James Bree. Oh, God. Lockyer. Good. Up to Powell. Back over to Bree. Let's go. Morel over to... Back to, back to Powell and Pazu. Powell. Up to Ennis. Ooh, just, just out. Okay. I could see us. Oh god, Jamie Collins already has a yellow card. Lovely. Or James Collins. I keep thinking New England Patriots linebacker. Show me something else in the second half, boys. James Collins, watch yourself. Uh, yeah. God, this is so much easier to do it like this. Um. Hmm. You know what? That'll be fine. Um, let's move it up to positive. Be move it back up to positive. Try and have them look for the overlaps as my cats go absolutely fucking insane. I'm sorry if you hear any of that. Um, regroup and then distribute quickly. Sure. Um, just stay on your feet, guys. All right, boys, let's go for the second half. Let's try and get something done. Gonna demand more right immediately out of the gate. Uh, 
I mean, good news is we've held Newcastle to only two shots. I say that, and the highlight begins with them. I could see Newcastle going straight back up. Yeah, I could see them going straight back up, so I'm not really surprised in any of this. Um, 70 minutes gone. Come on, boys. We are not doing anything. So, 73 minutes gone. Collins is not doing anything, so... I'm gonna bring on Babbage. Come on, Babby. I'll make you... Try to make you the target, man. Try and get you to there. Uh, distribute it to him. Pal, I'm gonna swap for you to an Anganch. Um, let's just get these guys up. Actually, yeah, let's just make them complete wingbacks for now. Um, complete wingbacks on attack. Get the attacking mentality up. Now you can be expressive. Look for that early cross, boys. Come on, let's go. Okay. Clemenke. Pretty good distribution. Up to Babbage, up to Pal. Ooh, up to Seddon. There we go. There we go. Ooh, just wide. Oh, just wide. Okay. Uh, Ennis is not having the greatest of games. I'm going to swap, swap these two. And then bring in Stockley. Pal has not had the greatest of games so far. Um... I'll just move you to there. Set in. Um, yeah, let's bring in that Zamburic guy. See how he does for a good 10 minutes. Jamal Lewis. I'm assuming takes the throw. Demand a little bit more no matter what happens. Abukaba. Or however you pronounce. Abushabaka. Over to Frazier, who... Over to Conti. Over to John Joe. Back over to Conti. I got that slow build-up play. There's Elias Abuchabaka. Yeah, however you say his name. Ah, uh, let's just run at the defense. See how... See if we can get anything done. Yeah, I'm not... I wasn't really expecting much coming off of a relegated Newcastle. Um, all right, cool. We've already made our subs, so... Disappointed we didn't get a win, or... Uh, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy, and I'm not happy. Cool. So, I think that'll be the end of uh, this episode for now. Once we get back, we'll figure out, uh, cool, Babbage ends to vow, vows to end gold drought. We'll see how that goes. So, I think we're going play a little bit, uh, off camera. Uh, probably come back for, hmm. Uh, hmm. Probably come back for... Uh, let's come back for the Peterborough and then and then the uh, Sheffield Wednesday game. So, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and hopefully, hopefully we do better than that first game. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.